perennial varsity football favorites, Tuana University of Technology look to justify their tag with a victory over the Central University of Technology that would see them reinforce their hold on number one position in week four of this tournament. Now an opportunity, the Rampai has a shot. He, of course, also an MVC player with Bloomfontein Celtic. This is Malwati, scored from a similar position in the first game against UJ. He does it so excellently. He cuts to his yeah. weaker side left, and they think because he's, it goes to the weaker side, he's left, but they don't know that he carries a powerful shot from the right and from the left. Now space is opened up. And comes in and just passed. Well, that intervention was crucial in the end, but uh, caused for some heart failure on the bench of CUT as it just flashed wide of uh, the upright. Well, the stop in play was because of two balls on the field, but uh, they sorted that out. Now TUT come forward, great shot. Kabi gets behind it well. Powerful venom shot from Temba Dovu. That's why he was missed. That left foot has got such venom in him. A full dozen so far for TUT, and that one just clips the top of the frame of the goal. Perfect clip to the far post, clips the top of the goal. Everybody just stood because they thought it's going outside, but it was gonna go to the bay. And he, he, he knew what he was doing because on the small arc at the goal post, he put the ball furthest yeah. on the small arc of the corner, and he clipped it far post. Now put it to a great area. And flying across the goal is Mube. He wasn't quite sure where that was going to end up. Two men interested in it. Eventually it evaded everyone, but uh, a great show of intent here from CUT. I've seen this review in the NFD a game. Woodbank players against Magezi, where Woodbank players won 2 0. Also, he was. Yep. No, plenty of NFD games he's presided over. That was actually his first ever. It was his. Uh, big step up at the beginning of the season. What I love about him is that where the action is, he's about one to two meters away from the action. He's only 24 years of age as the referee who's called a foul here as uh, Mokele stops Mokwena illegally. And Klovu delivers, oh, little touch! And that's all it took. And they have found the back of the net. They've broken the deadlock. And it's Sabir with the goal, and off he goes. Look at how Ndovu connected with the ball, Grant. He knew who to pick up and who was the Mpatela in the box, and he connected for a goal. Yeah, well, it's Sabir who gets the touch. And what's crucial is it only needed a touch. It's, it's, he just redirects it more than anything, changes the course of or the flight of the ball ever so slightly, and uh, it leaves Kavi without any real chance. The T2 do come forward and potentially a chance for a shot for McQuena. Oh my word! He's got his team the cushion and now Bushy Malloy is off. And that's what we're used to seeing. Channeling his Dan Dance. His team are ahead. Well, McQuena did exactly the same last week against UJ, cutting in and cutting in, eventually playing the pass, which set up the goal. This time he takes it on himself, and you can see the quality of the Sundowns man. Of course. This is, a, this is a young lad that's playing up against really tough opposition. Goma set up for Mokele and turned away by Mube. Good left foot from Mokele. Mube at the right place at the right time once again for goalkeeper to actually look at the bounce of the ball behind the defense. He spotted it very well and that clear it, not hold on to it. It's alive here for CUT. Numbers in the box, shot and save! Mube doing the business for the visitors here. Mube doing the business, just tapping the ball out of them. But since that introduction of Daula on the right and Lato on the left, the CUT has looked lively as the shot comes in, connected with these laces. Mube, brilliant save. Well, that's the end of the game. Next week, CUT will face NWU and uh, TUT will be up against UWC, but for now they've uh, moved to 10 points. They topped the log. Mokwena was the man to get the second, get them the cushion. What a great goal it was. And uh, TUT have once again done the business. Three games on the road in a row, three wins in a row, and once again an imperious second-half performance.